Hi everybody, it's Margie from Bubbles and Fairy Tales again, and I'm here with an unboxing. I won this super, super, super cool, huge giveaway from Elizabeth Scott, the author of um, Miracle, As I Wake, um, Love You, Hate You, Miss You, and Stealing Heaven, and like two or three other books. And she just got signed on to write two more books with Harlequin. And to help spread the word, she had this really huge giveaway. She's given away like 15 Harlequin books. And I won the giveaway. So I am so thankful and grateful and so happy. And you guys should definitely check out Elizabeth Scott and see what she's up to. Um, the first book to come out through Harlequin is called Heartbeat. Um, there's not much else information except that it's coming out, I think, late in the fall, maybe early winter. Um, and definitely check out her links and her other books, too. Um, I did take a peek into one of the boxes, and she also sent me a lot of her own books, too. So I am, like, so, so, so super happy right now. But these are the two boxes. And we're going to take a peek inside now. Okay, okay, okay. We're opening the big box. I took a peek inside the little box already. And we're going to open the big box. And we're going to see what we find. Ah. First is Love You, Hate You, Miss You by Elizabeth Scott. And I believe this is the book about um, the girl who loses her best friend. Her best friend dies, and she has she sees a, a a therapist, and they ask her to keep a diary. And instead of keeping the diary, I think she writes letters to her friend. I'm really looking forward to reading this. And here's another one by Elizabeth Scott called Stealing Heaven. And this one is the one that reminds me of that movie where. Um, the daughter is trained by her own mother to um, become a thief and they like pull stunts and stuff together and then they end up going somewhere where she actually likes living where it is that they're living and she wants to stay and change her ways. As I Wake, also by Elizabeth Scott. Love this cover. I believe this is a girl about a girl who has amnesia and um, she has no idea where she is or who she is and people are trying to tell her and I, she doesn't believe them. So she has to discover what happened and um, what happened to her and of course there's a boy involved so can't wait to finally read this one too. Miracle by Elizabeth Scott. Miracle by Elizabeth Scott. This is one of her latest. This is about a girl who survives a plane crash and she's the only survivor and she doesn't remember what happened and how she survived. And um, the mystery to, you know, find out who she is, what happened, and why is she the only survivor. So I wonder if there's anything um, else thrown in here or if it's just, you know, like, survivor's regret. Isn't that... Yeah, something like that. So, another one to read. I can't wait for this. Also in the box is Pushing the Limits by Katie McGarry. I, it's one of the few that I've read already that's in the box. And you all know how much I love Echo and Noah's story. So, I'm happy to have a finished copy of this now for my shelf. Also in the box is Alice in Zombieland by Gina Shaw Walter. I'm so happy to have a finished copy of this for myself. It is like one of the most prettiest books out there, at least in my opinion it is. I just love the green and all the prettiness to it. So thank you. So happy for that. Confessions of an Angry Girl by Louise Rosette. I have heard of this. I don't know really what it's about. Obviously it's about an angry, angry girl and I guess maybe she takes revenge? Hmm. Dark Kiss by Michelle Rowan. Love the cover and 
the first book to the Night Watcher series. Angels. I love angel stories. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Speechless by Hannah Harrington. This copy, this paperback copy, I mean, it does. I, I, it, I'm speechless. It's like gorgeous. It's got, I can't see it, but it's all white. And it's got like this shine and pearl stuff to it. It's just absolutely stunning. And it's got the French flap and what is it called? Deckard or Deckled pages. I can't wait to read this. Eee! Undeadly by Michelle Vale. Does this have something to do with zombies? It does. The Reaper Diaries. This is book one. The Reaper. Ooh, the paperback cover is so. Look, it's got some pretty pages inside there. And it's about zombies. Hmm. I guess I have another zombie book to try out. On a Dark Wing by Jordan Dane. I just finished reading um, Indigo Awakening about a week or so ago, and her writing is really good, so. Can't wait to read this one too. This one's what's this one about? Abby Chandler cheated death. Now she's a target of death's ravens, and an innocent boy's life is on the line. Ooh! I can't wait to read this. And what do we got here? Beyond the Grave by Mara Parnhagen, and I believe this is a series, right? Yeah. 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 Let's see if I can figure out the order. I've, oh, Past Midnight series. Okay, so that means this one has to be first, which is Past Midnight by Mara Pernhagen. And then I think it's 100 Candles, and then Beyond the Grave. And I don't really know what the series is about. I haven't heard much about it. Ghost Hunters, maybe? I think it's her parents are Ghost Hunters, and somehow she gets wrapped into it because she helps out with the stuff, and then the ghosts come and they start, like, haunting her, something like that. I don't know, but I haven't read a really good ghost, hunt, ghost story in a while, so I'm going to definitely give this one a try. And then we got Temptation by Karen Ann Hopkins. And I think this is the one where the guy is Amish and the girl is not and they fall in love. And then I think she gives up everything to go live in his community. Right? I think so. Sounds good. Girl in the Clockwork Collar by Katie Cross. And I think... Yes. And the Girl in the Steel Corset by Katie Grass. This is book one and book two. Just in time for book three with the girl wearing the green dress. I don't know what steampunk element the third book is. She's going to have. I forgot already. But I know it's a green pretty dress. So. Happy Sandera! And, and, and. The Lost Prince. The Call of the Forgotten by Julie Kagawa. And, and the best thing, one of the best things in here is the whole Iron Bay series. And it comes, and I, yeah, I ripped open this one. This was one of the ones that I peeked into already because it's got a signed poster and I had no idea that it was in there. And even though it did say up here that it has a signed poster, but it's so pretty. I've been wanting to catch up on this series for like ever. And now I can with all the pretty colors and all the prettiness. All these pretties. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Ugh. Okay. So that is all. <coughs> Guys, definitely go check out Elizabeth Scott. Go say hi to her. I mean, she is just the bestest. She's got a billion books going on. And I don't know what else to say, but I am so very grateful and blessed to have all these wonderful pretties in here today. And thank you, thank you so much, Elizabeth Scott. I truly appreciate it and love 
everything so very much and of course it's going to be very loved and very much hoarded for a long time so thanks for watching guys i'll see you later happy reading